Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, this. Uh, <laughs> this is a bit of a monster. A um, bit bigger than what we normally go for. This is the Douglas C47 Skytrain from Airfix in 170 second scale. Uh, and I'm building this for a reason. Um, I recently was asked to take on and have uh, quite proudly accepted a commission uh, for a museum and uh, it's a new museum that's going to be opening a military museum uh, I'm not going to go into any more detail about it than that uh, because they're going to do a big reveal when they open and I don't want to steal their thunder but they have approached me and asked me to build a series of uh, aircraft for display in this museum and that's what I'm going to do and the first one we're going to be building is this one um, so, yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so this is some of the contents of the box. Uh, as you can see, as I said, this is a, uh, a fairly big model. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be quite fun. It doesn't look too bad at first glance. It's got quite a lot of detail on it. Um, there doesn't appear to be a massive amount of flashing anywhere. Uh, just so you know, this is going to be displayed wheels up in flight. So uh, there will be some changes that we'll make here and there, but we'll, we'll talk about that more when we get near it. Um, but yeah, so far it all looks fairly good. Uh, we will be also building it with the doors open. And we may well be building some paratroopers to come out of it. But yeah, on the whole, it looks uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, oh, and something I don't normally do as well, which I will be on this one, is that we've got pilot figures. So it will have the pilots in it. As I say, it's going to be displayed in flight, so we will have the pilots in there. Um, so that all looks fairly straightforward. Uh, There's all the various windows and other clear parts. Actually, on that note, the only aftermarket part I bought for this, uh, I did buy um, cockpit masks, or you know, window masks, because that'll make life a lot easier. Uh, I've just noticed, actually, there are some parts in here that have come off the sprues in the bag, so I'll have to be careful not to lose those. Uh, the instructions uh, actually look pretty good. Uh, I quite like Airfix instructions. They tend to be quite um, detailed uh, without being overly complicated. Some, some instructions I find are quite complicated, but Airfix ones generally tend to be quite simple. So there is that. There are actually two uh, kits you can build with this. You can also build like a, a snow version with skids and things, but we won't be doing that. The one slight downside to this kit are the decals. Um, I mean, they're fine, but they are, as you can see, only US decals. And we will be building this as an RAF aircraft. So uh, I could go and buy some aftermarket decals, but I think, to be honest, for the RAF roundels, it's as easy just to paint them on. So that's what I'll do. Um, but we'll still use all of these kind of little bits and pieces. So, yeah, let's get building.
Right, now for the fun bit. Um, the way this aircraft is going to be displayed, uh, it's going to have uh, paratroopers coming out of the door um, and so on. So what I want to try and do is uh, depict the aircraft in flight. So what I don't want to do, if I can avoid it, is have a stand on the underside. I, I want it to look like it's flying. So what I'm going to do, if I can, there's quite a big gap under here and under here uh, where this goes on. And I've got here a, a piece of stainless steel rod. And what I'm going to try and do, and I don't know if this is going to work, I could bugger the whole thing up. But what I want to do is have this rod go underneath, and I'm going to have to obviously make quite a lot of modifications. But it's going to go, let's take this top bit off, sorry. I'm going to have this rod go through like this, come out of the wing tip here and then go into the back of the display case that it will be in. So it will look like the, the wing tip is touching the case and that's all that's holding it up. That's the idea. Now obviously I can't just bang it straight through, that's not going to work. Um, these wings are at quite an angle, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's quite an angle on that wing. Uh, the wing is also raked backwards quite significantly as well on the leading edge. So what I'm going to have to do is take this bar and I'm going to have to put a series of compound bends in it to bend it up and then to follow the shape of the wing and then back to come out the end of the wing. So that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, and then once that's done I will epoxy it to the wing and then I'll cut a slot in the end of the wing here and it will poke out the underside of the end of the wing and hopefully that will give us what we want. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> doesn't look too bad. Um, what I need to do now is attach this and then work out how much material I need to remove from the lower side of the wing to make it fit together. Now to try and attach this, I'm hoping this is going to work, this is um, a Unibond uh, epoxy. It's a one minute epoxy so I'm hoping this will work but basically I need to glue the metal bar to the underside um, yeah let's give it a go right just gotta let that fully cure now and uh, Hopefully, that'll be enough to support the weight of the aircraft. Uh, I wanted to run the bar through the middle because I didn't want it all hanging off this wing because I thought it would just snap the wing off. So hopefully that should be plenty strong enough. Right, um, what I need to do now is relieve the wing 
to make it fit together because obviously it isn't designed to have that big lump of metal inside it. Um, at this end it's not too bad, it should only need a little bit removing. Uh, it will almost join up actually. But as obviously as towards we get to the end of the, and the wing tapers, I'm going to have to remove more material to, uh, to get the bar to fit. And eventually the bar will come right through the wing. But there's not really a lot I can do about that. Um, once it's in the case like that, hopefully it, you won't notice. Um, and it will look a lot better than having a big stand sticking out the bottom. So what I've done is I've just roughly marked where I need to remove the material from. And to do the job, I'm going to use the rotary tool with uh, a burr. I've got a number of different burrs that I'll use, but this will be the one I'll use most. Um, and yeah, I'll just remove material carefully until I get to where I want. Now, as with ever, when you're using any kind of cutting implement, safety glasses, they are your friend. Use them. You do not want to go blind building a model. So anyway, here we go. Let's give it a bash. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> um, it still needs a bit more cleaning up uh, and it will need quite a lot of filler. But uh, I think once it's all glued in place, it should be as inconspicuous as possible, I think is the best way to put it. So I'm going to tidy it up a bit more and then I'll glue the wing on and we'll see what it looks like. I just realised you can actually, uh, you see this like white line, that's actually the light shining through the plastic, it's like paper, it's so thin. Right, I'm going to try gluing it on and see how we get on. That's gross. Ugh. That is disgusting. Drop the 
Roosevelt said in a statement today that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii from the air. I'll repeat that. President Roosevelt says that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii from the air. We will interrupt all programs to give you latest news bulletin. Stay tuned to this station.
And here is the finished article. Uh, I'm very pleased with how this has come out. Uh, it's one of the biggest kits I've ever built. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, obviously we made some modifications, inserting the rod for the mounting, making the paratroopers, the spinning propellers and all the rest of it. Along with the custom decals from Hanant's, uh, which have really added to the overall look of the model. Um, so yeah, I think this is uh, going to look very nice in this uh, little museum it's going in. And um, I'm particularly pleased to be able to get this video up on uh, a day of such uh, historical significance. So, um, yeah, I hope this has uh, been of interest to you. It's certainly been uh, a great build for me. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.